Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And today we will continue to speak about uh, graphics in Revit. So especially today we will talk about uh, how to make the post-production in Revit. So most of you who are watching my channel, the great people who are working for example in Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop and you want uh, more control of your for example uh, Revit uh, some drawings. So, but the most uh, uh, the common question is how you can export, for example, from the Revit, uh, let's say 3D graphic to Illustrator, right? You want to create create some uh, really nice graphic in Illustrator, but you don't know how to export it from the Revit. Uh, and I will show you now what I'm talking about. Uh, let's say I have like a 3D view. You did already 3D view and you want to export it to the uh, Illustrator. So what you will do? Of course you will go to the file, you will go to the export, you will go to the uh, cut formats and DWG. And you will be right. But uh, let's say I'll show you what we will get after that. So now I will save it on the my desktop. So let's leave it the same uh, name and uncheck the export views. So and make sure the aftercut it's uh, lower than your uh, Adobe Illustrator version. So now Revit asking us, saying us to if you will export this 3D view, this boundary box will be uh, switch off. Okay, we will say okay. So we can it's uh, we can control it in, for example, uh, our Adobe Illustrator. Now we are in Adobe Illustrator. So I will go to the file. I will create the new one. Let's go to create new one. And for example, let's say A3 unit format. Let's say and let's create it. So I'm creating now A3, and now I just drag and drop my uh, DWG file inside to the my project. Uh, let's say I need a scale it to fit it's okay so let's scale it to fit and it'll say okay and now we will get the problem about the color because color in Revit is different than uh, in Adobe and you will see what 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 you see you can see now all 3d like warframe mode you can see it right so this is totally wrong because we don't need 3d we don't need the warframe things we need only that thing what we can see on this viewport so how you can get the same result so i will show you the second way and it's uh for me it's really more easiest way uh just create your drawing sheet as i did for example i will switch off the all the things what i don't need let's say i don't need any title i will leave that, that one it's okay i will delete and i will leave this view as it is and now I will go again to the file, I will add the export, export DWG format and let's make it new one. Let's say just 111 without the export views and don't forget the low, the version of your exporting DWG should be lower than your Adobe Illustrator uh, program. So I already did it, so let's check it out. I will now uh, place it again uh, to my uh, viewport. So just two seconds, few seconds, and here we are, here we are, and as you can see, everything okay. Uh, now I will delete the my uh, my uh, drawing sheets. I don't need it. I will delete it, and I will delete all those these lines. I don't need, and this one too. As you can see, we get clear our drawing. Uh, you can see on the under layers, you can see all the things. For example, here I'm using some pattern for my wall. I can switch off or delete it. Let's switch off. And if you are working in Illustrator, you already know what you can do. You can make the, for example, you can make some changes with the line. For example, I will change here the lines. You can, uh, I don't know, you can even, for example, uh, let's, let's I'll show you. For example, you can use uh, the uh, paint brush and do whatever you want. For example, I will do like this and uh, For example, I want to make here some uh, different color. Maybe black one. Why not? With this drawing so you can create nice graphic. Why not if you are good in uh, the uh, Illustrator I am not so but anyway if you want to use you can use this method Okay, so uh, what about the other things uh, about the graphics? Uh, let's go back to the Revit and let's speak about it.
Okay, we are back into the Revit. You can see uh, I did like one wall, one uh, floor, and now we will speak about 2D graphics for the Revit. Okay, so uh, I will use the, um, this is wrong methods, but you can use, uh, for example, you can do it from the um, material or the visual graphics if you want. But I will use override graphic on, on this view. So you can see we have like something, I will close everything, you should uh, concentrate only on this thing. We have here the foreground and backgr background thing. So for example here I will, um, let's say I want to make uh, something like that pattern and maybe this color. Let's apply. You will see uh, we get on this on this corner, right? You can see it. So uh, let's go the, uh, for example to here. I will make the solid and let's make the red one. And let's apply. So we get graphics like this, as you can see. We have the red color as the fill and we have the lines here. We can go, the, for example, uh, back and make something like that. For example, uh, here it will be uh, totally white things and here it will be, uh, I don't know, let's make the pattern. We will go to the pattern. Uh, if you don't know, we can uh, make some really nice color in Revit. So, because we have here the pattern colors. Uh, for example, I want color something like uh, this one. Let's say this one. Just double click and you will get this color. So, it's here. Let's say OK, let's say OK. And you will get something like that. Uh, for example, uh, if you want to change, uh, of course, your... Uh, your type of the mm, pattern you can go here for example and you cannot see anything now because this is totally white let's change for example to the green one and you can see all the uh, patterns now so but let's say you didn't uh, you didn't find any pattern what you want you can create it let's create the pattern uh, i will go to the first level let's say here the level zero and now i will go to the modify oh not sorry not modify annotate line here the annotate and I will find here detail line. So let's detail line and let's create our own pattern. Uh, pattern sorry. For example, I want to make the pat uh, patterns like mm, I don't know maybe something like that. So let's let's make it a bit symmetrical. I will try to make it a bit symmetrical. So uh, I already finished. Here is my pattern. So you should now select everything and make sure this is only lines not uh, not any geometry just the lines now when you selected your uh, lines go to the uh, pi revit and find here make pattern so just a second uh, we should give the name for that one let's give the name like this and just make sure this is detail pattern let's make detail pattern let's go back to 3d let's select our model right click override graphic element and now we will just change the color I want to just see where is my new pattern. Aha, uh -huh, it's here. You can see uh, the one is here. And let's change back to the white color. Let's say OK. Just a few seconds. Ta-ta, we get something like that. And as you understand, this is not a model. So when you're using the patterns, it's uh, not crushing your PC when, for example, you need to create some panels. So it looks OK. This is what looks like I want. And as you can see, uh, this is vector graphics and now it's changing and rotating so this is pretty cool actually <laughs> but anyway this is only the way to for example create your graphics uh, for example you already have the static camera and you want to create some nice graphics so this is a really cool thing how you can use the patterns and color inside in Revit but I should say about the bad things about this way uh, using the graphics. For example, uh, if I, you will go to the your uh, uh, graphic uh, oh, graphic in your view in port, uh, you will go here, for example, to graphic display option. Uh, you will find here the show ages. I think, as you understand, if you will switch off the show ages, you never will see your pattern. So let's switch off, let's apply, now you cannot see your pattern, because your pattern in it's somehow like a, like a lines, you know, uh, that's why you cannot uh, switch off it. Uh, this is really bad things, but uh, it's only, again, 
uh, depends your graphics because now I just switch off ambient light and uh, shadows and now it really looks like interesting. So this is a really cool thing when you're creating some details. Let's say you're creating details of facade or you're creating details of or of your, I don't know, your some, um, I don't know, like joints about the walls, uh, these floors. This is really cool way to highlight some points. So I hope this uh, lesson was uh, helpful. Today we spoke about the uh, illustrator and some patterns. Uh, and you know now more about the graphics. Thank you for watching and see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store. There you can find bottle of this Dynamo script or you can buy two-story complete house or even the two-story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.